So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to set up a Google Hangouts Meet using your calendar. What this is going to allow you to do is set up a meeting or a conference call with any number of colleagues, coworkers, and beyond. It'll even allow people who are not part of our Google Apps for Education group to join your Meet if they have their own Gmail address or even if they just have the phone number and the uh, pin that goes along with it. I'm going to show you how to create one of these meetings now. So first off, if you find the date and time that you want to create this in your Google Calendar, go ahead and click that space and create an event like you normally would. Um, so during this date and time, uh, we can add our guests here. And as we start adding people in, it will show us if they have any conflicting events during that time, if they've pre-populated their calendars. Um, so we can add a bunch of other guests here. But what you'll notice is once I added even just one guest, uh, a, a Hangouts Meet link is added to this event by default. If you don't see this when you're making your event, you can always click More Options and make sure that when you click here, you choose Hangouts Meet, and it will create a link for you. So if I press save, it'll ask me if I want to send an invitation to those guests. I'll go ahead and press send. So those guests will receive an email with a link that has our Google Hangouts Meet uh, link available as well as uh, a phone number with a pin. So if they don't have, let's say, their laptop working for whatever reason, they can actually join this meeting just with this phone number and PIN. Let's go ahead and join this meeting. This meeting is not being hosted on my laptop. The first thing I want to do when I join this meeting is mute my camera and microphone. And like I was just saying, this meeting is not being hosted on my laptop. So if my laptop were to shut down and I picked up another computer and click this link again, it's still ongoing. It's being hosted on Google servers. The great news about that is I don't have to worry about an individual computer working. In fact, I don't believe any of our computers would have to be working. We could all join just by telephone number. In any event, uh, now that I've turned off my camera and microphone, I can click join or I can present my screen. Now, if I want to present my screen, I can do it now or later. The reason I mute these two when I join any meeting is because if I imagine there are 10 people in this meeting already, as soon as I join, they're going to be able to visually see and hear anything that's going on on my computer's microphone. So it's always good etiquette when you're joining a meeting to mute both of those before you jump in. Let's go mm -hmm. ahead and click join now. And as you see, we are the only people in this meeting at the moment. A message pops up saying my microphone is off, so if I'm talking, I can turn it on. I'll go ahead and turn it on for now. You'll see there's kind of a graphic that shows up around this. Um, up here at the top right, you'll be able to see the people who are here. You can add people manually just by going here and typing their email address and sending an invitation. I can start a chat log with the people in this meeting. And what's really interesting is I can also present my screen which I'll show you how to do right now. I press present now down here. I can present my entire screen or just one window on my computer. So I'll choose my entire screen and uh, I click the screen I want to present and press share. And now I'm presenting my screen to the rest of the group. So I can see that Joey's joined our call over here and um, I think he should be able to see my screen right now which is great. Uh, if I want to not show my screen anymore, I can press stop presenting. Now, Joey is uh, asking a question here through the chat log. And if I miss that pop up, I can click there and see it. I join on my PC. Should I join on my phone with video and audio? He only has to join on one of those for this to work. So Joey, if you can hear me, uh, you can only have to join on your PC. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is uh, turn on the captions. I really like this feature. Google is able to read what we're saying verbally and type it out in case 
people are having auditory issues, like their speakers are broken, or let's say they have to mute their computer for a little while, they can continue reading what's happening. Um, you can see who's joining and jumping in and out here. But it's pretty remarkable that Google is able to actually transcribe this meeting for, for us. So once your meeting's over, you can hang up. Um, you can always rejoin if you want. But that is, in a nutshell, how you create a Google Meeting. And it will allow us to conduct meetings remotely across campuses. If no one's on campus, however things are lined up, um, you can still schedule your regular meetings.